Hey guys, All in Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope you've all had a great start to your weeks despite the current market action and a very happy Monday so far. Today we're going to be diving into Cardano and we've got lots of interesting and exciting things to share with you in this video. We're going to be diving into some of the dApps launching on top of Cardano and showing you some of the groundwork that they are putting in and really be reconfirming to you guys that despite the what can really be described as brutal price action, the groundwork continues to get put in. And that's something you want to pay attention to. Often price can be a very unfair representation of value, certainly true value, as price essentially is determined by what gets traded back and forth on exchanges. We know that the majority of Cardano is actually in stake pools, 73% or so, 72%, it might have come down slightly, um, and is not actually liquid in the sense that it's trading on exchanges. And it's a very small amount of the overall supply that actually dictates the um, rest of the supplies price. Uh, so we're going to be diving in to a number of things. I also want to be sharing with you this article from Sunday Swap. Now, I'm sure many of you have already uh, heard other people's takes on it and sort of certainly read the article yourself. And it's to do with expectations on the mainnet launch and how they're planning for congestion. They spoke, for example, of things like um, potentially orders taking a day to fill. And it's really to do with the fact that we're still very early as a project. Cardano is still very early as a project. And one thing that Cardano has really prioritized over everything is decentralization. Now, security, decentralization, and scalability are three things that really make up a blockchain. And Cardano have prioritized decentralization in a true Satoshi vision fashion. Um, over scalability. Scalability is the next issue that gets tackled on the Cardano roadmap. And there are, despite some of the concerns Sunday Swap may have in regards to congestion, there are there is, sorry, I should say, a clear roadmap of how we fix this problem. So we're going to get into that and certainly give my thoughts on this article. Uh, also talk about the thread that they released. Uh, and we're going to dive into input outputs thread on some of the projects building on top of Cardano and some of the achievements that they've made. Um, one thing that I really want to just highlight that I'm very excited about is we've been pretty quiet with our heads down preparing for the mainnet launch. You can expect a very exciting announcement in the next few days. In the meantime, uh, there's something we wanted to discuss first. And this article this is a very short read, um, but they're really just kind of trying to uh, sort of squash any FUD before it arises um, and, and give you guys some sort of realistic expectations on the mainnet launch. Um, and this isn't anything I'm worried about. Certainly, I know what the, the, the clear roadmap out of some of these congestion issues are. And the congestion issues are really a worst case scenario if they see huge amounts of volume given the main net launch and given what the test net sort of showed. Um, so we may not even have these huge congestion issues, but we will get into it. I just want to remind people that Cardano became the most developed crypto project on GitHub in 2021. So there's huge amounts of development taking place on ADA. This is a very bullish sign, and it really sort of ties in with what we're saying about the fact that price often doesn't represent uh, value very accurately. It's really what the markets decide. We know the entire market is tethered to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin has a bad day, it will unfairly take it out on the rest of the market. But that's just the space that we live in. I think as time goes on, and we see this with things like the Bitcoin dominance, um, we are starting to see... Um, some sort of a detethering. We're not detethered by any means, shape, or form. We're still very tethered to Bitcoin, but it's becoming less and less so as we see Bitcoin dominance wane. And I think this is a trend that's going to continue. And I also want to talk about a trend that's going to continue in regards to Bitcoin's price and how typically we've been following a Bitcoin four year cycle theory. But now I think we're going to start to see something like this, which of course is Amazon. They had their boom and bust. And after that came really what is only described as adoption with hype. Uh, cycles involved. And I think that's what the crypto space is kind of going to take on um, in regards to the charts and how they're going to look into the future. So Cardano, where shall we start? Well, let's start very, very quickly um, by talking about some of what's been going on with the projects building on top of Cardano. This is a great thread. I've retweeted this um, and I'll actually retweet it again and quote it for anybody looking to actually find the tweet. On my Twitter, you can go ahead and follow me uh, on Twitter at Real All in Crypto. While you might have been taking it slow over the past few weeks, projects building on Cardano have been working restlessly on everything from DeFi, marketplaces, and DEX projects to solutions for identity, gaming, oracles, wallets, and more. And it goes into some of the great achievements 
uh, and partnerships that have been made. It talks about ADAX. ADAX are set to launch at the end of this month, um, which is another DEX. One thing that we showed you and we've gone over in great detail is the fact that Muesli Swap is really the first DEX on Cardano, and it's a relatively unknown about unused DEX. They've not got anywhere near the sort of following that somebody like Sunday Swap has. Um, yet they're already starting to eat up and lock Cardano into their protocol. It's going to be pretty amazing when we get Sunday Swap launch to just see how much Cardano actually gets locked up into that protocol, whether it be through providing liquidity um, or other means. So I'm very, very excited for this. And like I say, this is literally, and this is an article released from the Sunday Swap team um, in the next few days. And this was two days ago. So any day now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get the decks. Uh, we will move on to what this article is talking about, and I will kind of break it down for you. I talk about things like drip drops. Uh, drip drops essentially is just a... It's a way for people that create a token to look to distribute it to Cardano members, people that are a part of the Cardano ecosystem or part of Cardano holders, essentially. Um, so it's pretty cool. I've actually used it. Drops talks about a number of other things like some of the CNFT marketplaces. We have been doing a CNFT series where we've called out a number of CNFT projects that we're very interested in, and a lot of them have done very well because that side of things is really starting to wake up. And that actually causes quite a big buy pressure for ADA in the sense that people actually have to buy Cardano to buy these CNFTs on things like jpg.store uh, and so on and so forth. Partnerships with MinSwap, of course, Muesli Swap. Um, more Sunday Swap news. Of course, we know we have the testnet. Um, you've got ADA Handle, which is really interesting. We've got some news from Koti, who, of course, are working on DJED, which is the algorithmic stablecoin. Stablecoins play a, a huge role in um, any DeFi ecosystem on any chain. Um, and so on and so forth. Ada Finance, which we've covered, they partnered with Nami Wallet, which is great. Um, so there's been lots going on. The reason I'm just sort of skimming through this is because I really want to get on to the next bit of news that we have, or not news, the next kind of topic that we have to discuss. Um, the, the, the reason that I'm bringing this up is to just really highlight the fact that there's been a lot of building going on on the base layer of Cardano. So the next thing that I want to dive into is Sunday Swap, which is looking likely to be the sort of most well-known uh, DEX to launch on Cardano, the first expected decks, if you will. We know we've got Muesli Swap, and of course they are a functional decks. I've used Muesli Swap to pick up a number of small tokens, um, and it does work. But this is the first decks with huge uh, sort of mainstream Cardano attention. Uh, and they released this article talking about expectations, congestion, and mainnet launch. Now it talks about the fact that on the launch of the mainnet, there's likely to be quite a bit of congestion due to the volume that's going to be going through. Now, this really comes down to how Cardano operates as a blockchain. Um, and what they did mention is the fact that potentially you could get transactions that could take a day to clear, uh, or you could get orders that take a day to clear on the DEX, which is pretty impractical. Um, but this is something that there's definitely a roadmap for fixing uh, in regards to the fact that the next era that we move into after Gogan um, is where we see them tackle the scaling issues. And, and it really comes down to how Cardano have done things. Cardano really prioritized decentralization um, over scalability, whereas chains like Solana, Avalanche, they really um, prioritize scalability over everything. And they're a lot more centralized than something like Cardano. However, they have an input output. I've said this themselves. Hydra is looking like it potentially could come out this year. And that's going to see the TPS transactions per second potentially scale to a million. Um, so there's a clear roadmap for sorting this out. Remember, this is the very first sort of mainstream DEX DAP launching on ADA. Um, so it, there's going to be teething issues with any blossoming ecosystem. You know, it's very rare that you turn it on and it works perfectly first time. And this is, they've given you really the worst case scenario here. If the congestion reaches some of the levels that they think it may be given the volume seen on the test net, this is not something I'm worried about in the slightest. And this is a problem that as... Um, upgrades take place. For example, Ethereum has upgrades in the term of EIPs. Cardano, I think it's CIPs. Um, as these upgrades take place, the issue will get better. And one thing that they did say in this is, given the sort of normal volume that DEXs see, they, they're very confident that they're going to be able to deal with that in an efficient manner. It's just really the launch that may see a huge amount of transactions taking place. Um, that they think they may have a bit of congestion with. So this is something I'm certainly not worried about. I'm very excited for it. And I want to remind people that this is coming in the next few days. And this article was two days ago. 
So Cardano, whilst it's selling off, I'm very happy. Lots of people asking me personally what I'm doing in regards to my ADA holdings. I'm holding on to them. And in fact, I'm DCAing through this. And certainly at these prices, I'm more than happy to pick Cardano up, given the fact that I'm going to be able to use it within the DeFi space and really farm yields with it. Um, and certainly for something like Sunday Swap, there's a number of tokens that I would like to get into um, as they become more, or whilst they're still not as accessible um, to the public. And as this DeFi ecosystem grows, the tokens are going to grow with it. Um, but we spoke about in yesterday's video, we looked at some of the DeFi protocols and why we think they're going to do very well, given how other DeFi spaces have done. So that's really what I have for you. There's a tweet that they posted. Um, and it talks about now uh, that Arkle has had time to sit with you. We had some thoughts to share based on your questions. Our post on congestion was intended to provide guidance on what to expect with the mainnet launch. We are delighted to discover how many folks the article reached. It got a lot of negativity, this article. Um, lots of people used it as a way to kind of go, you know, we, we told you that Cardano was garbage or whatever. Um, but it couldn't be further from the truth. Like I say, Cardano have just chose a slightly different route um, to get to what I think all blockchains want to achieve, that, that destination. Um, and I think one reason I'm such a fan of Cardano is because they've really prioritized things like decentralization um, and not just going after price appreciation, actually building a blockchain that works and is here to stay uh, than other things. So we're not worried in the slightest about that. You know, I think there's... Regardless, like I say, of the price action, a million and one reasons to be bullish on ADA um, and price often is a very un unfair representation of, of value. We know it's very, very tethered to Bitcoin. We're seeing huge amounts of volatility at the moment. Um, we do do daily market updates where we look at some of the reasons why there's volatility in these markets, like the fact that we're running into a very strong headwind as a market um, from the sort of Federal Reserve with the deflationary um, pressures that they're thinking about sort of unleashing in regards to tackling inflation. Um, and remember, you know, we saw huge inflation or a huge inflationary event take place in March 2020, which really weakened the dollar. They're now looking to firm it. And you can certainly see that in the charts. You know, we see this huge run up and then we see a call off period. And I ultimately think we're going to see a run up um, after we've sort of entered or exited this period. Um, and this is from Raoul Pohl. We've often said that Bitcoin is following Amazon. And this is what Amazon did after the dot-com boom. I think crypto is following a similar trajectory. Uh, and we're going to see growth in a similar manner to this. You're very early in terms of adoption. Raoul Pohl has often spoke about things like Metcalfe's law and so on and so forth. And I think that's certainly applicable to not just Bitcoin, but the crypto space as a whole. And certainly some of the blockchains, such as Cardano within it, that have huge potential um, it, it, it's very applicable. So that's really all I have for you in this video. Uh, I'm going to love and leave you on that note. I hope you've enjoyed this one. We will be bringing out another CNFT video after this. So watch out for that. Price action is brutal. Um, but ultimately, you know, I'm happy to pick Cardano up at these prices ready for what is right around the corner. And we know it is right around the corner, given what Sunday swap have kind of said. Um, so that's really all I have guys. If you've enjoyed the content, a like is always appreciated. So is a comment. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next YouTube video. Remember there's a link to our discord in the description and we do indeed have the stake pool. All in is the ticker. We've got 1.5 million Cardano in there at the moment. So we are looking to blocks regularly for those of you looking for a stake pool to join. Thank you very much for watching guys. I'll catch you all in the next YouTube video.